U.S. President Joe Biden's administration approved more than $20 billion in new weapons sales to Israel, brushing aside pressure from rights activists to stop arms deliveries over the death toll in Gaza. Congress was notified of the impending sale, which includes more than 50 F-15 fighter jets, advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles, or AMROMs, 120mm tank ammunition and high-explosive mortars and tactical vehicles and comes at a time of intense concern that Israel may become involved in a wider Middle East war. The most significant deal is the sale of 50 F-15IA fighter jets and the upgrade of 25 F-15I fighter jets that are already in service in the Israeli Air Force. The deal is worth $18.8 billion. The Biden administration also approved the sale of 50,120mm mortar shells and 32,120mm tank shells. Another deal involves the sale of 30 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles for fighter jets. Israel waited quite a long time for these deals to be approved, an Israeli official told Axios. The deal comes at a precarious moment for the region. Iran and proxy group Hezbollah are expected to retaliate in the wake of suspected Israeli assassinations of Hezbollah military head Fuad Shakr in Beirut, Lebanon and Hamas's political leader, Ismail Haniyeh, in the Iranian capital of Tehran. Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant thanked Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and Secretary of State Antony Blinken in a post on X4, advancing critical force build-up initiatives that assist Israel in developing and maintaining its qualitative military edge in the region. As we fight to defend Israel on seven different fronts, your message of support and commitment to Israel's security, are clear, he said. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump, while speaking with ex-owner Elon Musk on the billionaire's social media site, said Russia wouldn't have invaded Ukraine if U.S. President Joe Biden weren't in office. Trump has been saying that he knows Putin and gets along with North Korea's ruler Kim Jong-un. They're smart and they're vicious. I got along with Russia's President Vladimir Putin very well, and he respected me, Trump said, adding that he used to speak to Putin often. We would talk about Ukraine. It was the apple of his eye. But I told him don't do it, he claimed. Known for his long-standing public sympathy for Putin and his repeated criticism of US aid to Ukraine, Trump claimed during his presidential campaign that he would end the war within 24 hours if elected, though he refused to provide details of his plan. During the debates with US President Joe Biden, Trump rejected Putin's ceasefire terms, which demanded that Ukraine surrender for regions partially occupied by Russia and abandon its effort to join NATO, calling them not acceptable. However, earlier media reports indicated that Trump privately suggested ending Russia's war by pressuring Ukraine to cede Crimea and Donbass to Moscow. He also said publicly in May 2023 that he would not guarantee continued defense assistance to Ukraine if he won the presidential election. Musk told Trump he's made an excellent point. Musk officially endorsed Trump on the same day GOP nominee was shot at a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. Musk had planned to host Donald Trump for an interview live on X. However, the social media platform experienced glitches, preventing many users from listening to the interview. Musk later posted that there was a massive DDoS attack on X and mentioned efforts to shut it down adding that he might continue the interview with a smaller audience. The interview started about 45 minutes late. 